Welcome back to my channel. So I have a new background right here. I'm thinking for makeup related videos. I'm going to do my videos right here and update. I got my braces off. Yes, I got my braces off. So now I can speak more clearly and yes, I'm loving it. <laughs> I can't stop smiling you guys. So for today's video, as you can see on the title, I am going to do like a mini review of the Silly Sponge. And for this video to be more interesting, we're going to compare the Silly Sponge and the Beauty Blender. So this is going to be Silly Sponge versus Beauty Blender. So we're going to have four parts in this contest. Contest! <laughs> Contest. We're going to have four parts in this contest. The application of the foundation, concealer, contour, and also cleaning both the silly sponge and the beauty blender. Don't forget to put a thumbs up if you like more makeup related videos and subscribe as well if you haven't yet because I upload videos every single week. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's do this! <laughs> So first, I am applying my foundation using the Silly Sponge. I'm going to apply it on this side of my face. So you can all see that there are a lot of product on my face. It does not soak the product in, so it's a good thing for me. Because you know makeup is quite expensive, so we don't want any product being soaked in or being wasted. So this is what the application of the foundation looks like using the Silly Sponge. So for the other half of my face, I'm using my beauty blender to apply the foundation onto my face. And as you can see, I'm quite struggling to put a good amount of product onto my face. Blending and dabbing took me quite a long time as well, longer than the silly sponge. And it soaked in the product so there are some waste. The coverage isn't that good compared to the silly sponge as well. my concealer, I'm using my all-around concealer from Catrice. I have already put the right amount of concealer under my eyes and I'm using now the Silly Sponge to blend it all out. Took me some time to figure out how to blend my concealer using the Silly Sponge. Now it's time for the Beauty Blender to blend that concealer out. I have already applied my contour line right here on my forehead and also on my jawline. Now I'm using the silly sponge to blend the contour. And I have to- Oh! What kind of face is that? <laughs> so I bent the silly sponge a little bit so that I can properly contour. It's kind of hard to hold the silly sponge like that but I have to do it to contour properly. Then I just use my all trusted beauty blender to finish the other side of my face. So right now I'm just gonna clean the silly sponge using just wet wipes. And you can clearly see that by just a couple of wipes the product is almost gone. Good as new! I'm also gonna try cleaning this beauty blender using wet wipes. And you can see that no matter how hard I try wiping it, the product just wouldn't come off. It's totally soaked in. Now let's try cleaning it under running water. It was so easy for me to clean the silly sponge again. Now let's try it with the beauty blender. 
We all know that it is very hard to clean the beauty blender by just water alone. And here's the comparison of the Silly Sponge and the Beauty Blender. So here's the finished look using the Silly Sponge and the Beauty Blender. Disclaimer guys, all of the things that I will say here are just my opinion. If any one of you have a different view of the Silly Sponge or the Beauty Blender, feel free to comment down below. Don't judge me guys, this is just my honest opinion. We have different skin types, so if you have a different skin type from me, maybe the Beauty Blender will be better for your skin or the Silly Sponge would be better for your skin. Again, all of this are just my opinion, so more love to everyone. <laughs> So in the foundation, I give one point to the Silly Sponge because I have easier application using this than the Beauty Blender. The application of the foundation is easier and it glides on my face easier. So I give one point to the Silly Sponge in foundation. In concealer, I give one point to the Beauty Blender because the Silly Sponge gets rid of the concealer and I don't want that. We don't want that. That's why we put concealer to conceal our dark circles. But when I use this to blend the concealer, it kind of took the concealer away. But this one, the Beauty Blender pushed the concealer onto my skin. So I give one point to the Beauty Blender in the concealer. So both of them have one point now. In the contour part, I give one point to the Beauty Blender again. Just because when I use the Silly Sponge, it is hard to press it like this. Because when I blend my contour, I want it to be as thin as possible. So that the contour stays at this place, at this line where I put it. But this one is quite hard to put it into this shape right here. So it's kind of a handful than this one. This is softer so you can have easier blending with the Silly Sponge. Silly uh, with the Beauty Blender, so I give one point to the Beauty So for this last option, I think this is one of the most important factors for me because if your makeup brush or if your um, Beauty Blender or Silly Sponge is dirty, then your face would be dirty as well. You'll have germs and you'll have breakouts, you'll have lots of pimples and we don't want that. So for this part, I give one point for the Silly Sponge. It is so obvious that it is easier to clean and wash the Silly Sponge than the Beauty Blender. So all in all, they have two points. Two points for the Silly Sponge and two points for the Beauty Blender. So it's a tie. So whether you like to use the Beauty Blender or the Silly Sponge, it is up to you. I'm just here to help you and give you my opinion. Thanks for watching. I will see you next week. Bye!